everyone welcome back to a new video in this video i'm going to be creating an abalone shell nail so i'm going to go in with nao's perfect blush this is going to create our smile line um i didn't drain the liquid out of the back of the bead and the acrylic decided it was gonna go for a little walk go for a little wander so um i just had to shape it with my brush so do make sure you get your liquid powder ratio correct. It will make everything so much easier for you. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> so I'm just gonna shape the, the smile line. Then I'm gonna go in with another bead and I'm gonna pop this at the cuticle area, making sure it's all nice and neat. And then once it has set, I'm just going to go in with my hand file and just neaten up around the edges. And I did file over the top just to level level it out, the nail bed out, because it went a bit skewify. So I'm going in now with Glamour Glitz Marilyn, and I'm going to place this on the free edge. Um, this needs to be quite a thin layer because we're going to place some glitter and some shell onto the free edge as well. So you don't want to make it too bulky. I just found that the shell showed up really nicely on the black. So this is the Licorice Twist Glitter I'm gonna be using. This is, I think, my favorite black glitter from Nail Sugar. And then this is the Abalone Shell, which is also from Nail Sugar. Um, there was more shell in there, but I've used some of it creating two other nails. So um, you do get a little bit more than that in the pot. So I'm gonna go in with the Licorice Twist Glitter and I am placing it up the side walls around the smile line and then down at the edge the sides of the free edge um, this is so that because the shell isn't going to cover the whole nail so I just wanted there to be a little bit of sparkle where there wasn't any shell so I'm just going to pick out some bits of shell that I like the good thing with this is you can break it up look how pretty that is so I'm just gonna break that up to fit the nail better obviously because they lie flat and the nail is curved look how pretty the shell is oh, I just love these um, if you do break it up it'll obviously make it lie um, flatter on the nail if that makes sense so I'm just gonna pop a little bit of clear acrylic onto the free edge and then I'm gonna pick up the um, abalone shell and place it onto that acrylic So I want to try and cover as much of the free edge as I can but I'm not too worried because where we haven't got the shell we have got the beautiful glitter. <clears throat> there we go. So I'm going to put a little bit of clear acrylic over the top of those just so that they don't go anywhere. I'm going to cap the nail, I'm going to cap the free edge with clear acrylic. And then once that has set, I will go ahead and file and buff it. So the nail is now filed and buffed. This is the best part. I'm gonna go in with the top coat, people. Oh, I just decided I was gonna pull the nail out the finger a little bit because it it uh, moved up a tiny bit. So just wait for this. Oh my goodness! Who doesn't like a good reveal? <laughs> a top coat reveal. I love it. I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Oh, 
and then that is the finished nail if you did like this video please leave me a thumbs up um, if you haven't already do consider subscribing um, and I'll see you in the next one don't forget to comment on my giveaway video bye